If you are a 3D artist who want to create characters, animals or creatures, you will have at some point to add hair and fur to your 3D assets. But Blender isn't particularly great when it comes to this. And so in today's video, we're gonna go over some of the best available Blender add-ons that might help you in this regard. We're gonna start with 3D hair brush, which is probably one of the most needed add-ons to work with fur and hair inside Blender. It works as a hair grooming tool that fully supports the new hair system since it offers a variety of tools including hair brushes, children modifiers, preset libraries, cycles hair render, and efficient hair grooming tools. From what I can see, this add-on greatly expands the functionality of Blender's particle hair system, making hair work much less tedious and simplifying the process of getting realistic results, which is very important. The thing is, it is incredibly flexible and versatile, and even though it is a little bit pricey, I believe it is worth it, because it can save you and I a great deal of stress and frustration when creating hair in Blender, which I always found to be tiresome and tedious. But if you want to simplify the process even further, we have Hairbreak Pro which is an add-on that simplifies the process of making hairstyles by providing you with some amazing tools. The main feature of this add-on is called Hair Management, which is a system that streamlines some tasks for you. For example, you will have an outliner where you can view and envy the hair by controlling the visibility, and you can select and locate the hair much easier. In addition, you can duplicate, join, and work more efficiently on your hair projects. Another cool feature of this add-on is offering a hair modifier which lets you combine and stack various hair effects to get the look that you're after. And it is divided into three main categories, and each category has a different purpose. The first one is hair effects, where you can add and apply different effects on the hair such as instant objects and hair, blend hair, cut hair, etc. The second category is hairstyling. And this one lets you do some styling to the hair. For example, you can choose to make a wavy hair, a curly hair, or just straight hair. Or basically any hairstyle that you want. The third and last category is hair operations. And this one includes the Briggs modifier that applies operations to the hair, such as subdivide hair, reverse curve, mirror hair, and more. The next add-on isn't exactly gonna help you to make hair but rather to animate it. It supports adding shape keys to hair and creating transition animations between them, and the add-on is simply called Hair Shape Key. It will make the process of animating hair a bit faster and easier, which is a great offering. Additionally, it can work with the noise modifier in the graph editor, and it lets you use drivers to control the animation. Plus, it will allow you to make keyframe animations and switch between shapes freely, giving you more possibilities and controllability to handle hair inside Blender. But if you want hair extensions, there is an add-on called Hair Extension Toolkit, which from what I can see, enhances the controllability of hair by giving you access to multiple practical functions, like merging and splitting particle systems, resetting the number of steps and length of the guides, and applying the effect of children to the guides in addition to recording the hair selections and more. Personally, I consider this add-on to be a very underrated tool, especially for anyone who works a lot with hair inside Blender. Some of its major features fix important flaws in Blender's workflow by default, while others are just extra tools that make creating complex hair much less of a headache. And the features are implemented so well, and they feel like they are just part of Blender naturally. I mean the default version of Blender. Now we're gonna move on to an add-on that allows you to create a different type of hair, which is facial hair. And this add-on is called Facial Hair Toolkit. Its main purpose is providing you with different and pre-made hair assets that can be shrink-wrapped around your models and characters. And although the add-on is called Facial Hair, it does not only focus on beards, but it expands to other stuff because it also provides different hairstyles and assets for both male and female, plus it has various eyebrow assets that you can apply to your characters. Once again, the add-on does not stop at offering assets, since it provides some other nice features. For example, 
It allows you to customize and change some settings, which is a thing that we like to do. You can adjust the density, length and shape, and this will give you more control over the hair assets. Actually, when I first saw this add-on, I didn't think it would be very good, because it just seemed like an average add-on that offers assets. However, after using it, I had a complete change of heart because of how impressive the assets were. They have great quality, and they are very customizable, where you can control pretty much everything about them, which is something that we like to do and sometimes have to do to get the results that we are after. And now we're gonna go to a completely different type of hair with an add-on called Anime Hair Maker. And this one will help you make stylized hair that is similar to what you will find in anime characters. You can actually achieve this without using the add-on by making hair strands using a curve and duplicating it multiple times on top of your character's hat. But this process is boring and actually takes a lot of time to complete it. However, the Anime Hair Maker add-on offers some additional ways to populate hair strands, making it an efficient and a fast tool in order to achieve anime hair style. This tool allows you to quickly cycle through hair profiles and change their appearance, which speeds up the workflow tremendously. It also has convenient options for quickly decimating and converting curve to busier curve. In addition, you can quickly and easily adjust the thickness of the hair volume along with its length with the taper sliders, and you can use the MISC panel to rapidly hide and show curves, in addition to shuffling through busy points and handles. In a nutshell, the Anime Hair Maker is probably the best add-on for making stylized and anime hair inside Blender. I mean, it has pretty much everything you will need, from making a single hair strand to populating it over the head of the character. And the best thing about it is that you can customize a lot and a lot of stuff and it has various features that come with lots of hotkeys, and you can do this all in one place, which makes modeling hair more convenient. However, it might seem hard for beginners to make hair using this add-on, but over a short period of time, I believe you will get the hang of it and start creating amazing stuff. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.